now that we're still in on the customer side, I'm just going to go back into my sales. Another one of the enhancements that have come in is the ability to uh, send out your final notice collection letter. So if you are using the collection letters, uh, great. When I click on my customer here, I can either click on write letters, there's a utility as well. I find a lot of people just go in here and write letters. Or if you wanted to get down to a specific customer, you can choose that customer and then write a letter. Now, if I just go write letters here, I'm going to go prepare collection letter. Under this, it's going to say, all right, you want to do a collection letter. Well, who do you want to do it for? All right, I have the ability to say a range of customers, a range of customer IDs or names, or a smart list selection. Okay, so this smart list selection was added a little while ago. The final emailing of the final customer letter or collection notice is what the enhancement is, but I always wanted to touch on this because if I had a smart list selection here, I can say, well, it's customers balance or something like that, right? So when I pick this and go next, it's gonna go through here. And what do you wanna do? I wanna do my final notice letter. Based on your smart list criteria, these are all the customers that were selected. I'm just gonna unmark them. I'll just pick one. But think about it, if you built a smart list that says, these are the ones that I want to focus on, and I need to send out a letter for this reason, or a final collection notice because you've got customers with bad debt and stuff like that, this is a quick and easy way of building it out. And then you can say, you know, who's sending this, Marvin, the collections man, so on and so forth. And when you hit finish here, it's going to build out a unique letter for each one of these, and you should be able to see that a Word template has come out. So on this collection letter, you can actually design it so it says here's the invoice, the date, the numbers, and everything that's outstanding. You can also uh, update it, and you can find you know these uh, you know basically put the verbiage and wording around it. If you needed to update this collection letter, it's a word template, so uh, you'll have a couple of different ways that you can do it. You can either do it through one of the utilities in the system, or if you know where the collection letter is stored, typically your collection letters are going to be stored. Um, mine. You can set in your DexINI file, and in mine, I actually set them under my data folder, under my letters, and then you can see here my collection letter, double click Marvin, final notice. I would actually be able to go into the final notice, and you'll see that I'm using my final notice DOCX template, so I'd use this one, and I would update that template. That gives you the ability to update it to be the wording you want. You can also create additional ones when you drop them in here. They are going to be the letters that show up in that list. So you can either use one of the template letters, or you could create your own custom letter. But what you do have the ability now is to generate a Word template for that final uh, letter. What a great overview, Marvin. For the next episode of the series, follow us on LinkedIn at GP Support North, or for how GP Support North can help you get more out of your Dynamics GP ERP, visit www.gpsupportnorth.com. Well. We'll see you there.